Chris Moyer, President and CEO, SME. Okay. Hi, I'm George Barrett. I'm the Solutions Engineer for SME Solutions Group. Hi, I'm Caitlin Patzold and I head up SME's marketing efforts. Hey, I'm Brian Masseri. I'm a digital strategist at SME. Hi, I'm Michael Lee, Sales and Partner Manager with SME. Well, overall, I'm really just excited to be at the booth this year at uh, Beyond and get to meet a, a ton of people. On top of that, um, I had the opportunity to um, interview the CEO of ThoughtSpot, Sadish Nair, so I'm really looking for that opportunity as well. I really want to see what ThoughtSpot 6.0 has to offer, what features it has, and how it's going to help businesses take ThoughtSpot to the next level. Uh, honestly, I'm most excited to see the change from the 2018 conference, the first beyond 2019. Back in 2018, there was about 650 attendees and they're expecting around 1200 this year so i'm really excited to see the customer versus, versus partner so it's not one particular speaker it's the session on embedding analytics and ai and the reason why i'm so excited is because there's so many new use cases that i've never even heard of so i think it's great to hear outside perspectives and think of things that people are, are doing completely outside of the box um, what i'm most excited about is the relationships that i'm going to form and then also hearing from other leaders within the space, learning about the challenges they have and how they've addressed them using ThoughtSpot. Very excited about that. Uh, honestly, there's not one in particular speaker that, that jumps out to me. I'm very interested in, of course, the roadmap uh, of where ThoughtSpot is going. So everything from Sudish and Ajit and the entire team over there, I'm pretty excited about. Oh goodness, I think it's gotta be Sean Accord uh, his keynote on the importance of happiness in the workplace. And the reason why is a couple weeks ago, we were talking about the importance of happiness in the workplace in the class, the leadership class I'm in. So then when I saw his name pop, pop up in that class, and then two days later pop up on the agenda, it really made me excited to hear more about it. And I know he has a really cool bunk bed story about his sister that I hope he shares. Really looking forward to seeing Sean Accor. I really like his TED talk on positive psychology and how happiness and productivity work well together. Uh, Dil Mori, I'm really excited about hearing him. You know, I love hearing about how analytics plays a role in sports and how it helps change organizations. So very excited about that. I'm a big sports guy, so really interested in hearing what his perspective is on that. Well, since I'm from Atlanta, I'm a little partial to uh, Chick-fil-A and my sister-in-law is a senior design lead there. So I'm looking to the Wednesday afternoon session called Democratizing Analytics Across the Enterprise. Um, really because I'm just a huge advocate of data literacy and I really want to hear some of their success stories of how they've worked with the end user um, to get away from siloed data and really move to a true democratization of data. I'll be at the booth Monday during the general session as well as most of Tuesday and the morning for Wednesday. We'll actually be at the booth for a lot of uh, Beyond 2019. Uh, a lot of times you'll see me just like this behind the camera um, or on the camera doing interviews and talking to other people. So by all means, come in, uh, find me if you see me uh, and you want to jump on camera, hey, let's make it happen. Ooh, better question, when won't I be at the booth? So part of my role at SME as corporate marketing is to make sure that our booth is ready for all those great conversations, stocked with fun promo items, have all the flyers and everything. So I'll be there most of the time. Uh, I will personally be at the booth on and on throughout the entire conference in the two days. Um, if anybody needs me in particular, they can reach out to anybody on my team and I'll come by and say hello. Um, I'll be in and out of the booth. I'm doing a lot of the sales training because I'm new to the ThoughtSpot product, but I'll be available at the booth in and out, you know, anytime I'm available. Right now, it is the versus keyword. I think that that is very powerful in being able to make comparisons without having any need for coding. I think the natural language search is really cool. I love the ability to be able to speak into it and ask questions and get my answers. But I think what's really neat about it is how it uses AI, so it learns to pick up the key words that I'm asking and get the information I'm looking for. So I thought that was really cool. My favorite feature of ThoughtSpot right now is the Explore feature on pinboards, and that's brand new to ThoughtSpot 5.3, but it's a really cool feature because 
not only can I be on a pin board and have some of my saved answers and searches, which are really important to me, but if I want to dive in, I can do that really quickly by using the explore feature. And actually gives me some suggestions along the way of ways I might want to chop up that data, look at it a little bit differently, throw some filters on it. So I found it to be a really cool feature. I'm really happy that it's a part of 5.3. Um, and I think once everybody else gets their hands on it, they're going to really like it too. Uh, my current favorite ThoughtSpot feature uh, that is most interesting to me as an executive and CEO is where they're going with the capabilities of mobile. Uh, that is most interesting to me. Sure. Ooh, easy. Uh, that's natural language search. I am one of those people that has an Alexa in every single room of my house, including my fridge. So the fact that I can do that and have a conversation with my data is pretty awesome.